I'm joined now by the former Conservative Minister Edwina Curry, who's appeared on Strictly Come Dancing and Wife Swap, and Christine Hamilton, the wife of former Tory MP Neil Hamilton, who finished third in the very first series of I'm the Celebrity. Uh, Edwina, to you first. Should you be, should you be doing it? I don't think so. I'm, I must say, I'm looking at her chairman there, who clearly a bit sort of teed off about the whole thing. He didn't even know she was in Australia. Uh, as constituents there say, she's got a job to do. But more than that, if Nadine seriously thinks that they're going to allow her onto national TV on a, a, a game show like this, talking about abortion, she's got another thing coming. It'll be entirely up to the editors how she is portrayed, and it won't be as a champion of anything. Do you think that's a fair point, Christine, that perhaps possibly she's a little naive about how much of her politics she's going to be able to get across when you're in there? Well, apparently she'd never seen the programme, so... Uh... Do we believe that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Uh, it's a very, very high-risk strategy for her. In the short term, she's going to get nothing but a problem from most quarters, and I think most people will, will not be positive about it. In the long term, if she does well, but that is so high risk. But take the Gillian McKeith, for example, disaster. Some people come out of it well. It did me no end of good. I mean, it changed people's perception of the sort of person that I was. So it was one of the best decisions that I had ever made in my life. But only time will tell. You are under scrutiny for 24 hours a day. And it is, as Edwina said, it's all in the editing. And what I bet is that the public are going to be voting as soon as they possibly can to get her. She's going to be one of the prime candidates for trials very early on. I don't know who else is in there, of course. There may be even primer candidates. <laughs> but she's, it's a, it's a, it's it's a big risk. But she, of course, is faintly semi-detached from the Tory party, so she doesn't worry, really, what they think. If you're going to do a programme like this, then you have to do something wholesome in it, like, like cook, as you did, or dance, as I did. And then, uh, and also you have to enter into in a, a spirit of fun. If you go in there with your ego waving, it's going to be the first thing that the editors will cut down. But, but what, what she's justifying, how she's trying to justify it, is that she's going to be bringing politics to people who don't possibly engage with well, politics. Well, she isn't. That is a big, big, big mistake, because these are entertainment programmes, and one of the key things that doesn't happen there is politics. She's making the same mistake that George Galloway made, and he had just lost his parliamentary seat when he thought he was going to talk about Iran and the Middle East, and he ended up in a cat suit licking milk from the lap of Rula Lenska.